All right, so this is the Benson Echo Rack. Um, as you can see, the magnetic disc is going around. Um, that's the record head. That's uh, playback head one, two, three, four, and this is an erase head. All right, on the front panel, um, basically what you have are um, this bank of of buttons which correspond to each of those four playback heads um, and this top section just engages them for echo or one one repeat um, no repeats after that um, the second bank of buttons corresponds to each of those same playback heads but engages those heads for uh, regeneration or multiple repeats um, on that head so the three modes are echo repeat and swell echo basically just is this part of the circuit um, so you could have any combination of heads uh, um, where you would just get one solid echo no regeneration out of those heads in repeat mode it actually engages both banks um, and uh, and so in that mode you know if you wanted a conventional delay sound um, like if you engaged head four for echo and head four for regeneration and turn the length of swell which basically is just kind of the um, the feedback or the number of repeats um, if you turn that up then you'll get that first echo on four and the rest of the echo is also on four which is the same kind of delay time so you'll get a conventional delay sound but if you were to engage um, say head two for echo and head four for playback or, or for uh, regeneration then you would have the first echo would be a very quick um, slap back and then you'd have a slightly longer um, delay uh, for each of the you know repeats um, subsequent to that um, in swell mode what it essentially does is engages all four of the top heads uh, for echo uh, just sort of hardwires them all in for echo um, then I usually just select head four um, because it kind of just sounds the best um, but it, what it essentially does is crams for each time head four echoes uh, it crams all four of those into that um, so now I'll try and just give you a quick demonstration on what it actually sounds like all right so if we're in echo mode um, I'll try just engaging head one You can see it's a very quick slap back. Head two is slightly longer. Head three longer than that. And head four is the longest. Um, we can engage any combination, so now I have two and four engaged. And all four sounds like this. So four hard repeats and then silence. So now if we go to repeat mode, um, I have head four um, selected for uh, for playback and for regeneration and I have the swell up. Um, so that's where you get the conventional delay sound. <laughs> But if I engage, let's say, just head two for playback, uh, or for, for echo, and head four for regeneration, you get a kind of... So quick, on the first hit, it's a quick delay, but each delay after that is a little longer. Um, swell mode is essentially all four of these heads activated. Um, and it would sound something like this. But if we go to um, to swell mode, um, it's basically like having these all engaged. But the signal's a little stronger, sounds a little better. If you turn the length of swell down, again it's just four strong hits as if all these were engaged. Um, and silence, and then at, as we turn the swell up, then we get. So 
Really. So, Colin, um, here's my guess as to how this thing kind of works. Um, as you play, like, uh, in, in the echo mode, as you play a note, um, it, it, uh, it prints at the simultaneously on the record head, and it sends it around, so that's why you get, you know, the longer delay times. Um, head one is very quick, two is a little longer, because it's just the distance that it's traveling around gets you the longer delay time. Um, but when you go into like the uh, repeat mode, um, basically, like when I had had two and and engaged and four engaged for uh, regeneration, um, you know, you play your note, it gets printed, you get two, uh, it goes to two for that quick echo, um, but then it sends its signal back to the record head, and each hit after that gets cycled through. Um, to four for a longer um, for those longer echoes um, for swell mode it's as if all four of these are um, are engaged for echo um, for the first repeat um, so you get all four of those and all four of those would route the signal back um, so part of it would go to the um, uh, uh, output and but it also would get routed back to this record head so you'd kind of have four signals getting printed and then like I had had four engaged so they would keep hitting the you know uh, the fourth head um, so I therefore I, I don't think it's in series um, it may be in parallel but <laughs> I really don't know I uh, hope this helps see ya man